Hi, my friend. You're welcome to another exciting episode. Welcome, 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 welcome. Are you happy this very day? I know you're glad. So let's do a quick exercise. If you're happy and you know it, can you dance? Dance. Dance for me. Dance for me. If you're happy and you know it, can you clap? If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show that you're happy and you know it, can you wave? Great job. If you're happy and you know it, can you what? What can we do? Can you wiggle? Great job. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. If you're happy and you know it, can you wiggle again? We go, we go, we go, we go. Great job. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show if you're happy and that you're happy, sorry, and you know it, can you jump? Great job. You just jumped. I'm so happy that you're excited this very day. I'm glad to, you know, see you again. Well, I'm not seeing your faces in your house, in your house rather, but I'm happy to, you know, be here again with you. How have you been? Has been your week? I hope it's been great. And how is, you know, wrap up for the school year? How is it going? I hope you're glad and you're rejoicing. Even if you're not going to win a prize, I hope you're glad because rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say what? Rejoice. Don't worry. If you're not going to even win a prize, don't worry. Next session is that you can do better and then you're going to win a prize. Yes. Are you happy? Are you glad? Great job. You're welcome again. And before we go on to what we have today, I want us to quickly pray for some very special set of people. You know, I told you like two weeks ago that it's always good to pray for people. You know that. Great job. So today we're going to be praying for people who are out of school, that their parents cannot afford sending them to school. So we're going to pray that God is going to, you know, come through for them and make way for their parents so that they can also go to school like you and they can learn, right? Let's go. You know, today we're not going to go this way, like a slippery fish. Let's take it. A slippery fish. Yes. And we take it off. Yes, great job. And we close our eyes, great job. And then we bow our heads to God. Father, we thank you for our friends, you know, people who are dear to us who cannot even go to school yet. And those who do not even know. We're praying, Lord God Almighty, for a miracle so that they can go to school and learn like us in Jesus' name. That they will also sit in class and learn your numbers and your letterings like we're learning right now. Thank you, Jesus, because we know you always hear us. For in Jesus' name we're afraid. Amen. Great job. I'm so proud of you. And you're welcome again. I hope you've been helping mommy and daddy out too. So today we're going to be learning a very simple song. When I mean simple, it's simple. We're going to be learning about the Holy Communion. Are you excited about that? I'm excited about that. I've planned, you know, for this. And I'm really, really glad that we're going to be doing this together and why do we need to learn about the holy communion because it's something that is important in our christian faith god wants us to always do it in remembrance of him in remembrance that jesus died and he rose again his blood was shed for us his body was broken for us so jesus always wants us to do it in remembrance of him so this with me um is the biscuit was going to represent the body of Jesus and this with me is a drink and it's going to represent the blood of Jesus we're going to be learning about the Holy Communion and I'm going to be telling you why we take the Holy Communion in church and at home do you understand great job I know you understand so let's go first let's sing the song okay let's go this is my body broken for you Eat it in remembrance of me. This is my blood that was shed for your sins. Drink it in remembrance of me. Eat it, drink it. Do this in remembrance of him. Eat it, drink it. Do this in remembrance of him. Eat it, drink it, do this in remembrance of him. Whenever we take the communion, 
we do it in remembrance of Jesus. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 26 says in the easy Bible version, very easy version, says that whenever you do this, you show what the Lord's death means. You're showing to people, especially people who don't even know Jesus yet. You're showing to them what Jesus' death means. That his body was broken, he died. He was beaten, beaten, his body was broken. Jesus even wanted somebody to help him with his cross. He was tired, you know, he was broken. And then his blood was shed on the cross. He was pierced on his sides for you. So whenever we take it, we remember the Lord's death. And we show to people who don't even know Jesus what the Lord's death means. Is that really simple to understand? Yes. That this represents the body of Jesus, the body of the biscuit. This is a biscuit. And the drink represents the blood of Jesus. And when we take it, we do it in remembrance of Jesus. And you know the thing, the amazing thing that the Bible says as well is that you, we should do it till the Lord Jesus returns. You know Jesus is coming soon, right? Yes, Jesus is coming to take his children home. Those who have been saved, those who are, whose name are written in the book of life. Jesus is coming for them. So whenever you take it, he's saying that you should take it again and again and again and again. Don't take it just once. Take it again and again and again and again and again. Every opportunity you have, take it again. You know, you do it till the time that Jesus will return. Have I made myself clear? <laughs> no, it's not a serious class. I'm just joking. But then, this is what it's all about. So let's take our song again. This is my body broken for you. Do what? Eat it. Great job. In remembrance of me. This is my blood that was shed for your sins. Drink it in remembrance of me. Eat it. Drink it. Great job. Do this in remembrance of me. Can we take it again? Do you want to take it? Eat it, drink it, do this in remembrance of me. Eat it, drink it, do this in remembrance of me. Eat it, drink it, do this in remembrance of me. Eat it, drink it, do this in remembrance of me. I'm so proud of you. You learned so fast. Can you remember what this is again? The body represents the body of Jesus. This is not Jesus' body, but it represents the body of Jesus. And this represents the blood of Jesus. And we take both in remembrance of Jesus. That's why we take communion. Have we enjoyed the session? Great job. So can we move to sticky time? Mm, yes! It's sticky time. And do you like my microphone? Do you like it? It's a new one and it's green, color green. And this is what Auntie's going to be using today. I'm so happy I have my microphone with me again. Are you happy as well? Great job. So today's sticky word is the redeemed of the Lord. You are the redeemed of the Lord. And I know that redeemed seems like a big word. Yes, it's a big word. But you know that redeemed simply means that you were bought with a precious price. That was the blood of Jesus. That Jesus bought you with his blood. That's what it means. Simply that. That you know you're not the devil's own, but you belong to God. You belong to Jesus because he has already bought you with his blood when he shed it on the cross of Calvary. Remember that place? On the cross. Jesus was on the cross of Calvary. His blood was pierced by the side for you. And that day, God redeemed you with the precious blood of Jesus. So you belong to Jesus. Immediately you say yes to Jesus. Jesus, come into my heart. You are the redeemed of the Lord. Are you happy about that? That you belong to Jesus? I feel like singing one song that we used to sing when, I'm growing, when I was growing up, brother. I am glad. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to my God. I'm so glad I belong to Jesus. Yeah, that's what I Jesus, I belong to the Lord. I am glad 
I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. Yes, I belong to the Lord. I am glad. Yes, I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to the Lord. Do you see you belong to Jesus? Yes. So let's go through our song. A sticky song, a mean sticky song. That was in digression. Auntie said a big word again. I'm sorry. I put the meat in there. I'm sorry. Oh my god. So let's sing today's sticky song. I'm the redeemed of the Lord. But with this precious blood that was shed on Calvary. When he said it is finished, my debt was paid in full. I'm the redeemed, I'm the redeemed of the Lord. Can we sing it together? I'm the redeemed of the Lord. But with his precious blood that was shed on Calvary. When he said it is finished, my debt was paid in full. I'm the redeemed, I'm the redeemed of the Lord. Hey, you're the redeemed, you're the redeemed of the Lord. I want you to dance with me. You're the redeemed, you're the redeemed of the Lord. Let's go. Oh, I'm the redeemed of the Lord. But with this precious blood that was shed on Calvary. Great job. When he said, it is finished. My dad was paid in full. I'm the redeemed. I'm the redeemed of the Lord. I've been redeemed by his blood. I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed. By his blood, I've been redeemed, I've been redeemed, I've been redeemed by his blood. Are you excited? Hey, hey, you're the redeemed, you're the redeemed of the Lord. Yes, you are the redeemed of the Lord. And like I always do every week, can you think of a scripture that says you are the redeemed of the Lord? Oh, wonderful Jesus, wonderful Jesus. Oh, think about it. Can you think with Auntie? Can you think with Auntie? Can you think with me? Let's think of a scripture that says we are the redeemed of the Lord. Oh, can you think with me? Oh, yes. The scripture that says you're the redeemed of the Lord. There are many. It's Isaiah 62 verse 12. He calls you the redeemed of the lord that you are not forsaken my god you are god's own oh my god can you just dance dance in your room dance 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 that you are the redeemed of the lord you are not forsaken god owns you like we said that you belong to jesus so you can walk with that confidence that you are the redeemed of the lord you do not belong to satan you belong to jesus and nothing can stop you or hold you down because you belong to god almighty are you glad that you're the redeemed of the lord great job so i think we can go through our songs again let's go through our song again i'm the redeemed of the lord but we this precious blood that was shed on calvary come on now let's go when he said it is finished my debt was paid in full i'm the redeemed I'm the redeemed of the Lord. Can you say you're the redeemed? You're the redeemed. You're the redeemed of the Lord. Great job. You are the redeemed of the Lord. And it's such a joy to be the redeemed of the Lord. Hmm. Do you know that? It's such a joy. Today, I, I have a quick quiz for you. Yes, it's a quick quiz. Can you remember our first sticky word that we shared? First sticky word. First sticky word. I want you to tell it to mommy and daddy. First sticky word. First sticky word. You should remember. Let's try. You can do this. Yes. First sticky word. First sticky word. Yes, I am chosen by the Lord. Great job, great job, great job. I'm so proud of you. Can you remember the one we 
we shared last week yes you are victorious you really are so smart honestly speaking that you can remember everything i'm so proud of you keep saying it every time whenever you get into a situation that seems like it's not saying what god says about you you remember what god says about you and then you say it to that situation say it to that mountain and say i am chosen by the lord i am victorious i am the light of the world do you know that you were redeemed of the Lord? Hallelujah. I'm so glad that we did this again today. I'm really glad. You're always on my mind and I always pray for you. And one of the things I say to God is that God will keep you. The Lord will preserve you. And you will go ahead to do mighty things for Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. I love you so much. I really, really, really do love you. And I really want to say kudos to mommy and daddy. They have been so amazing. If you've watched up till this time, bringing your children on here every time, you are amazing. And I pray that your labor of love will not be in vain in Jesus' name. Can you tell mommy and daddy you love them? Great job. I personally love you, mommies and daddies. God bless you. And aunties and uncles, God bless you. Amen. Bye.